What's up guys? Welcome back to Scum. Now we're right here on the edge of this little town. I went ahead and as you can see made the bare necessities. Um, we have a bow and a spear this time. We're going to try that since the axe is utterly useless. Uh, and I also tweaked the puppet numbers a bit. I, I kept the damage the same, but up the the or decreased the numbers so that there will be a little bit more manageable, at least until we get better equipped. But I did it this way because I want to keep the puppets threatening. You know, I, I want to look at the puppets as, even if there's only one or two, we could still be in trouble trying to fight them. As opposed to, you see a group of five or six coming, and it's like, ah, I got this, no problem. You know, I, I want the individual puppets to be high heel ankle boots. I don't remember those. Huh. Well, alrighty then. But anyway. Uh, so that's kind of where we're sitting right now. Hey, uh, I really don't need... Damn it, I don't need a lighter right now. We're not looking to start a fire. Was there a second story to this? No. Anyway. We're going to see how it goes with the puppet numbers back it down to normal, but their damage still high. Well, right there, there's already two puppets still, so I don't even know if, uh, <laughs> if we're going to notice too much of a difference. That being said, with what we have right now, I really don't want to get into a fight with them. <laughs> Not until we have some better gear. I would really like some better gear. I'm disappointed, <laughs> but, well, obviously I'm disappointed with our character dying before, but I, I liked some of the gear that we had, you know, I at least wanted to keep that revolver, and we had a better backpack, I guess, what do we need for the backpack? Backpack. Better backpack. I know we need two skins, but what else? Rags. Tree bark rope sewing kit. Rags. Rope sewing kit. And it doesn't have to be tree bark rope. It can be any kind of binding, basically. Okay. Well, since we need more rags, I guess. That doesn't get us rags. Does this get us rags or just rag strips? It doesn't get us anything, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, I changed the sensitivity on my mouse a little bit, or the joystick that controls my mouse. Uh, we'll see if that's a mistake or not. But, uh, pertaining to the last episode with that menu that keeps popping up. Ooh, that'll, that'll do. Yeah, it's damaged, but it's fine. Um, as far as I can tell, that's, that menu is related to Steam. But it pops up when I hit, hey, there we go, um, shift and tab at the same time. <gasps> well, hot diggity dang, we got us a sewing kit now. Hee hee ha ha ho ho. Um, and so, like... When I'm in my inventory and I start getting attacked, and I try to hit tab on my controller to exit out of the inventory, if I'm also accidentally holding shift, or press shift, because I get panicked, uh, then that menu pops up, and then we get royally screwed. But... 
for whatever reason, when that menu pops up, it deactivates the controller. So the controller is completely and utterly non-functional when that menu pops up. So I then have to set the controller down and grab my keyboard real quick. Oh, I thought we could get out over here. In order to get out of the menu. It's very frustrating and I dislike it greatly. But... Uh, it, it is what it is, I guess. Where, why am I searching this place? We're not going to find much here. I was hoping to find... Hey! That will work. I suppose. Big ol' smackerdoo. Regular smackerdoo. The face smasher is in considerably gooder condition, so we're going to use that one. Yeah, that ought to give us some oofles. Now, one thing that I hope they add to the game, and I mentioned this in the comments to one of you, um, is I wish that they would do like either context-specific or like finishing moves. So, like, if you have a, an axe or a knife or something, rather than just random swinging, like, from the side, just like, like this, eh, eh, you know, if, let's say that you at least stagger the zombie or something, or maybe you get up from behind them, but you could have a finishing move that would actually kill them quickly... Rather than you just smacking them to death with whatever. Hey, a shillelagh. Now, should we go with the shillelagh? It's in decent condition. Or stick with the face smasher. You know, I've never used the face smasher. Let's stick with it. Because, like... If you have a spear, like the wooden spears, even... This has been a big kind of peeve of mine with scum is like a spear should be a very, very effective. Oh, you don't hardly give any calories. Eat the whole thing then. Very effective zombie weapon. You should be able to spear the puppet. If you if you get them in the head with a spear, that should be a one-shot kill. Or at the very least, have the possibility of it being a one-shot kill. But it's not. It's You have to sit here and, and poke them like 17 times. With a spear, ooh, yeah, yeah. I I like the woodcutter shirts. Now, realistically, for the moment, we should probably just carry. Th Why did I not repair this? I didn't repair this because one, it's only currently losing out on one slot, and two, it doesn't have very many slots. You know, we can find better jackets. I don't want to waste the sewing kit on that unless we need the space. Now, what I was going to say before that is I think we're just going to carry like the shirt here as a spare thing until we find enough to use for a backpack. I don't remember what, as far as those, sh no, don't put them on. I'm, well, are they underneath? Yeah, they're underneath. Okay, you know what, sure. Fine. Whatever. Eh, there's nothing out there. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, 
But yeah, I hope that they come up with some kind of finishing moves or, you know, make certain weapons be more effective. What's with all of the denim shorts that we're finding? You know, like, you should, in my opinion, be able to use a knife. And let's say you, at, at the very least, they should do it to where if you get up behind a puppet, you can then, like, stealth kill them. Ooh, that would be more effective than this, anyway. You know, that was one thing that Daisy did do better than this. And Project Zomboid did that as well. I'm not sure why you don't have that as an option in Scum. Or maybe you do, and I'm just crappy enough at the game that I can't ever do it. I don't know. Who money? I will take money, thank you. Not that we ever use money for anything. <sighs> we don't visit the trader very often. Anyway. Yeah, I would really like to see some finishing moves or something like that with some of the weapons. I don't know if they're actually going to do anything like that. My guess would be no. Now, we're still looking, also, for uh, screwdrivers, bobby pins, that kind of thing. Hmm. I mean, we can certainly wear that for the time being, anyway. Good luck. More thread. Hmm. You know what? For now, we will take it. Empty bag. That ought to give us some rags, anyway. Cotton shirt. Hey, that should, I think, give us, what, two or three rags? Probably more than the denim shorts, anyway. Uh, but we'll store them in the denim shorts for now. We may just have to repair this cotton hoodie. We'll see. Anyway. Doodly doodly do. Can I have some bobby pins? Box of bobby pins. Well, that's interesting to find in here. I'm not going to bother taking it. We don't really have room for it. And it's pretty much a guarantee that we're not going to find an M1 Garand here. Is that as far up as that goes? It is. Okay. Because I want to go check the police station. You know, right now, if we could find a shotgun, that'd be great. Now, I see a garage over there. Might be able to find some screwdrivers in there. Anything in here? Eh, there's some seeds. Nobody cares. What is this building? Is this just another house? Climb. Climb. Thank you. Yes, this is another. Have we been in this one? No. Because I likely would have picked that up. You take up a lot of space. Are you going up or down? Of course, I can't tell. Okay, well, we have no intake right now. So, what do you give us as far as any kind of stuff? We shall eat you. At least eat some of you. I didn't bother to check the freshness, but we lucked out on that. I've just been grabbing whatever we find and eating it, regardless of whether or not it's actually fresh or edible. 
Now, I keep forgetting, you guys have told me this, but I keep forgetting that I should be pulling everything out of the cabinets and containers and stuff that I find. Because that will increase my awareness. Now, I don't know how important awareness is. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. Sure. You cannot eat with the mask on. Yes, I'm aware. How do we look? Uh, that would be so much better if we could put the hood up on the hoodie. I hope they make that an option as well. You know, be able to put the hood up on hooded jackets and whatnot. I highly doubt that that will ever be a thing, though. Jock jacket. Ooh, you have much better inventory space. Okay, we're putting that on. Wait, what the hell? Oh, we're going to start getting really warm, aren't we? You know what? That's How does that look? Not bad, not great either. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. But, I mean, it's decent for the time being. So, we, we might actually go ahead and use this. Hope it doesn't use up too terribly much of it. Ah, no, didn't use up hardly any at all. Fantastic. Terrific. Yeah, you're you're warm now. I'm fully aware. I'm terribly sorry. Here, tell you what, we don't need to be wearing the hoodie. So let's just put the hoodie in there. That we now have enough to do plenty of rags. Um, I'll tell you what, let's take this off. Take the socks off. And we're going to take the short pants off, because we really don't need those. Because between this shirt, this shirt, and the hoodie, we can surely get five. And Whoa, we have this empty bag as well. Yeah, we, we've got plenty to get enough rags to make a backpack. So, what all do we... What all are we short on for the backpack now? Just the skins? Just the skins. Okay. Well, we need to go find us some puppets then. Oh, I searched those already. Drat. Curses. Before we do that, I'm going to just finish searching this building anyway. Maybe we get lucky and find a backpack already. Now, is there a difference in the di in the kitchen knives? Could you have like this one? That one looks like it would be more effective. It's actually in slightly worse condition. How about we put this over here? There we go. We could, you know, not be a stupid. Take this out. Take this out. I said, I don't know how effectively that raises our awareness. Oh, lovely. That's that's exactly the backpack I wanted to find. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I guess it's slightly better. Oh, I guess I need to equip it. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's definitely what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it is a backpack. It's a really crappy backpack, but it is a backpack. Even more thread. Holy crap. I feel like we can probably... Well, no, that has exactly the amount of thread that we need. For the, no, it doesn't. We don't need... Yeah, we do. It does not have enough. But we have plenty other... <gasps> yes! Screwdriver. And even more thread. 
Good lord, we're gonna be good on thread for a while. Hey, and a water bottle. Fantastic. How much you got in you? Oh, you're full. Fresh water. Hell yeah. Okay, well then we can get rid of that. And take that. Yay! <gasps> oh, happy times. And in good condition, too. Hee hee ha ha ho ho. Hot diggity dang. No, we're not going that way. I'm not jumping off the balcony. Hey, but I saw a garage over there. Oh, we still have another floor. Well, okay, then we'll search this other floor. That's fine. Can I find maybe some bobby pins and some more screwdrivers? Maybe some better shoes. Better shoes would be lovely. Might I find some better foot attire? I, I would much appreciate some... Better protection for my for my footsies, my feetsins, my tootsies. Hey, jeans, those are better than our inmate pants. We'll take them. Whoever, give me my money. Money. Um, we really don't need the empty bag at this point, but whatever. I I guess we'll we'll hold on to it. I'm absolutely not bothering to repair this backpack. It's embarrassing to have this backpack on. <laughs> what do we got there? Yoga leggings. No, and they're leopard print yoga leggings. I'm going to go with no. Not, not with this particular character, anyway. I suppose at some point in the future, we could make a female character. But I'll leave that up to you guys. I don't really see much point in it, other than to, you know, see what the clothing items look like on the female character models. Now... <sighs> I mean, we still need bobby pins, I guess, don't we? Wait a minute, I came out of that door. I've... Well, fantastic. I leveled up my running skill. Have I checked this one? This one does not look familiar. I'm pretty sure I've not checked this one. But other than basically just seeing what the female character model looks like with the different outfits, I don't really see a whole lot of point in making a female character... Unless we just want to play as a female character. Ooh. I'll take those. What condition is my shirt in? Very good. Fantastic. Not going to bother with a new one then. Don't care about that. Why do I search those? No one knows. Stuff in the there's stuff. Jeez. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide. Do we do we need to keep taking the... I don't think we need to keep taking the thread. Bobby pins. Damn it. I thought if anywhere we could find some bobby pins in one of those. But no. Drat. Can I have some bobby pins, please? Bobby pins. Wool gloves. I don't need wool gloves. I don't really even need the driving gloves that we're currently wearing. Stop searching those, you stupid. You're only ever going to find corks in those. Bathroom. Okay, there's nothing in there. I'm trapped. Because I'm too stupid to see the door. Actually, a big part of it is the different sensitivity on my mic. Or mic. 
Yeah, the mic is what I used to move. I I absolutely use the microphone to move around. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thought I heard a grumbles, but that may have just been my dog snoring. Food. Wild cherries. Sure. I know it's more efficient to let my stats get down further before I try eating, but right now we're just kind of eating what we can get our hands on. What are those? Ooh, flint and steel. You know, I've never used that. I'm going to take it. If nothing else, it could be valuable at the trader whenever we get around to the trader. Which is going to be a while because we got to get fame points back up. Stuff and things. Can can there be stuff or things up here? There is neither stuff nor things. Not either one. Well, that's horribly unfortunate. Okay, we have a couple of garages here. Maybe we can find stuff in them. Stuff. Stuff, not a damn thing over there. What are you? Deep orange spray paint. Uh, probably not. Gunpowder, no. We're not going to mess with the gunpowder for a while. What are you? Kitchen knife. Well, this garage was complete and utter garbage. Now, we still need some skins, right? We need two skins. I'm pretty sure I see a puppet down the road there. So let's check this garage, and then we'll go get us a skin. Just a piece of paper. Rat. Lead plate. Uh, no, not at the moment. We'll need the lead plates eventually for making metal chests. More lead plates. Wonderful. Or for making ammunition if we decide to craft ammunition. I don't know that we're going to mess with crafting ammunition too much. But we shall see. Yeah, climb... Stuff. There's some rubber boots in here. I I don't care about rubber boots. And you're slightly warm. Well, that's that's your problem. Can I find some more screwdrivers? That's not a screwdriver. None of those are screwdrivers either. Drat. Screwdriver! Can I find a screwdriver? That, that's really, that's not a screwdriver at all. I, I cannot lockpick the police lockers with a watering can. I know I heard something that time. I know I did. I guess maybe I should have this out. Now, how, how can I aim with this? How well does aiming work with the new sensitivity? Eh, it might be fine. We'll see. Let's see if I can find some friendos that are willing to give me their skin so that I can make a backpack. Anything in these? Anything at all? Anything... No, drat. 
So I really, really, really wish that they would change the screwdrivers a little bit. Well, there you are, right there. Ah, crap. Oh, we're good. Arrows, please. Any friends? Nothing? Okay. Now, no way, we have a kitchen knife now. We're not using the stone knife. Okay, I was going to say, the stone knife is going to get completely obliterated by trying to cut one of these dudes up in it. Ah, the kitchen knife actually does okay. I don't... Alright, fine. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Get all this stuff into something else. Really? <sighs> What's the heavy thing in here? The damn hoodie. Great, I can't put that in there. Well. Can I do this? Okay, we can do that. Okay, we got we got room down here in the jeans. Why don't I just do it a little bit smarter, huh? Cause I'm not very smart, that's why. There we go. Okay, good. We have room for two of those in here. Good lord, this back oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Here we go. What are you doing? Get up! Jesus! That's something else that needs to be fixed. You can't attack when you're crouched. That needs to be fixed. Absolutely needs to be fixed. Because that's bullshit. I don't know how many times I've gotten my ass kicked because of that. We sitting here like this. You can't attack. You can't do shit while you're crouched. That's absolute and utter bullshit. Developers, fix that pile of garbage. Because, like, you're here. You're, you're searching a puppet. You can't spin around and attack from crouched. You have to get up and then attack. That, mm, that pisses me off so much. Because that also means that you cannot stealth attack. Because you have to stand up, which means you have to exit stealth mode in order to attack. And as soon as you do that, even if you've snuck up on a puppet, they then get alerted to your presence because you're standing up now. That's a whole pile of garbage. Anyway, sorry for the rant about that, but just mechanics like that bug the hell out of me. Because see, now our shit is damaged even further, all because we were crouched. That's a pile of garbage. And developers, I feel like you know that that's a pile of garbage, so please fix it. Because that's just ridiculously stupid. What? Okay. We can make it. Excellent. Now, is anything infected from that idiocracy? No? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm feeling hot, though. 
I'm aware. We'll deal with that in a second. <sighs> now, there's really not much we can take off other than the jacket, but we're using it for inventory space right now. But, fortunately, we don't have to bother fixing that pile of garbage backpack. And the only thing that got damaged besides that and me is this jock jacket. So, give me that. I wish that you could make something the size of the hiking backpacks. You know, that would be nice. But, anyway, whatever. However, this, the, uh, this sledgehammer is quite effective. It... It's, it's a very good smacker do. Now, still need more screwdrivers and such. No, I can't lockpick with a watering can. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that game. I cannot lockpick with a watering can. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that now. Fortunately, we do have a full screwdriver, so that's handy. But we need... How many do we need? We need... Eight... Screwdriver uses? Because there's four in the armory... Two downstairs... In just the, the hallway, and then two upstairs. Okay. I don't need any of this. But, it bugs me with the screwdriver that the screwdrivers break so easily. Even these little tiny screwdrivers should hold up to more than three uses. I mean, it's a screwdriver. Its whole purpose is to exert torque. On a screw. It, it should really hold up better than what they do. Now I get it. It's meant to where you have to keep finding more of them. In order to lockpick. But it's still just frustrating because... For a game that tries to do realism as much as Scum does, to have certain mechanics that are incredibly unrealistic like that bugs me a bit. You know, ooh. How do those look on us? I mean, they don't really go with anything, but they're interesting, I suppose. Anyway. Sorry, I, I'm ranting again. It's just when I start running into issues with the game, I want to call them out. You know, that way, if the developers, or anybody that is in contact with the developers, sees this video, or any of these videos, they can tell the developers, or the developers will just find out for themselves by watching the video, that shit needs to be changed. Or at the very least, that someone is complaining about certain things of the game. That's like, one thing that really, really bugs me. Jeez, I don't need more thread. I need bobby pins and screwdrivers. Damn, I have plenty of thread. But one thing that really bugs me with the dirt bike is the noise from it. I'm sure I'm not the only one. But... 
I, I really, really wish that you would just have a more consistent throttle noise. You know, normally I'm finding bobby pins left and right. There we go, thank you. I just had to complain about not finding bobby pins, and then we find bobby pins. Fantastic. But, as far as the dirt bike... Ooh. I like hats. I do. I like I like me... Ooh, I like the coloring on that one too, even. Yeah. But the dirt bike... It should have a consistent throttle noise, or at least a relatively consistent throttle noise. But it it doesn't. It sounds like a drunk, pissed off hornet. You know, it instead of just a nice, consistent, just. Mm, you know, or at the very least, just a typical revving. You know, we get. You know, sorry if that was loud, but you know, like you would get with normal operation of a throttle on a motorcycle, you get. You know, that's not how a dirt bike sounds. If that's how your motorcycle sounds, you need to do some repairs to it because it should not sound like that. You know, so I really wish that that would get fixed. And maybe it, maybe they have fixed it with this update. Did I check this yet? No. You know, because they added the Hellrider stuff back in. So maybe they've fixed the noise with the dirt bike? I don't know. I highly doubt it. But that really needs to be fixed. Because that sound just bugs the ever-loving hell out of me. And again, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I mean, in, in one of the streams that we did, you guys had me turn the volume down because the dirt bike was so obnoxious. You know, so I, I want that fixed. So please, developers, work on that. You know, there's a lot of stuff that... that should be worked on. And there's a lot of stuff that should not be worked on. And it seems like a lot of times the developers choose to work on the stuff that really doesn't need to be worked on. Like, okay, I was talking to one of you in the comments about the, um, the low walls being used as railings, like what we did with the with the base. Apparently, the developers have removed that from the game. Now, I get it, that was a bug, but it wasn't a game-breaking bug. It didn't cause any harm to anything. And a lot of people use that, apparently. Because I've seen multiple people do it now. So it's like, okay, it's not really a bug, it's a feature. But the developer said, no, we're going to take that away. But we're not going to fix some other problems. You know, we're going to kind of fix some of the puppet spawning issues, but not... Not really. Not all of them. You know, but we will dedicate time and resources to fixing a problem that doesn't need to be fixed. You know, just stuff like that bugs me. 
And I'm sorry if, you know, listening to me rant about this is not what you guys want to hear. If that's the case, let me know in the comments and I, I will try to avoid ranting in future episodes. But it's just, like I say, when there's stuff that I feel deserves attention, I, I want to bring it up. I want to call it out so that it gets that attention. Ow, you asshole. Shit. Whew, that was close. You by any chance have a screwdriver on you? No. How dare you not have a screwdriver? You jackass. Hmm. It's garbage condition and there's not much left of it, though. That's the problem. Now, I don't know if it's worth continuing to check all of these houses. But, again, we still need more screwdrivers. Ooh, pirate's eye patch. Yeah, we want that. You betcha. Oh, I can't hardly even see it from there. Get this out. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what we want. Huh, these... I don't like how tight the jeans are. <laughs> My character does not have a great body for skinny jeans. <laughs> Whatever, that's that's okay. Ooh, black driving gloves. Hmm. Honestly, I kind of like the brown ones. I don't really know why, but I kind of like the look of the brown ones. They just they look a little more Apocalyptic, I guess. Um, speaking of that, not not the gloves, but apocalyptic stuff. Um, I had mentioned doing a narrative. You know, a, a narrative season. Ooh, we'll take those. And, um, one of you had asked, you know, kind of what that's going to entail, or what that might entail, as far as story. Um, and to some degree that, that may kind of be up to you guys as well. Firefighter pants, we'll take those. They're, they're, they have the same inventory space as the jeans, it looks like. Yeah. Maybe. Not quite. Yeah, they do. But, um... We have some options as far as how we can proceed with that. Where'd the jeans go? I don't need the jeans. Now, we can either do it as, you know, we're basically telling the story of the of a prisoner on this island in terms of, you know, the prisoner. What the hell? No, oh, bedroll. Um, like, you know, come up with a backstory as to why the prisoner is here, you know, what they did, what their crime was to get put on this island, you know, if they had a family, that kind of thing, etc., etc. Or, we can tell it as more of a zombie outbreak story. You know, so we, we can do it as basically either... Kind of as the game intended, with our character being a prisoner here, or we can do it as more of a zombie outbreak. Type story, or technically we can do both. This could have been a prison island like Alcatraz. And then, you know, a zombie outbreak happened on the island. 
and now we're trying to survive that. That that might be the most common sense way to do it, I guess. But let me know what you guys think as far as what we should do for a story. Like I said, that's I would like to do that as a future season. So we're not looking at trying to make this season into that. But I would like to do that at some point. But I want it to be a story that you guys are actually interested in. And I guess as far as that goes, let me know if that is even something that you guys are interested in. You know, a couple of you have said, yeah, that sounds like an interesting idea. Um, but I would like to hear more from you guys on that, if that is something you'd be interested in. Awareness went up. Yay! High-heeled ankle boots some more. I don't care about those. So how are our shoes doing? They're still fine. Damn it. I, I need more screwdrivers. I feel like this is... I mean, this has been a productive episode, but I wanted to hit the police station in this episode. Damn it. Heavy pants. No. Shoes. That's not shoes. Those are more gloves. But uh, while we're kind of on the topic of future videos, uh, I wanted to talk about a Project Zomboy just a little bit. Um, to some degree, that game is going to get put on the back burner for a little bit. I may still do one more video on it currently, but otherwise it's going to get put on the back burner for a little bit from the standpoint of... I want to play it off camera for a while. Because right now I have not yet played it off camera, period, aside from the tutorial and the episode that didn't actually get recorded, but I was doing that one on camera and my editing software crashed. But anyway, point is I want to play that more for me off camera to learn it a little bit better to get more familiar with it because right now what I've been doing is trying to learn the basics of the game while also trying to make decent quality you know at least somewhat entertaining videos and it's just it's making it more stressful because I, I have a hard time focusing on learning the game the way that I need to. And I also can't then focus on trying to make the best quality videos that I can for it. And so, for the time being, I'm probably not going to do too much more with Project Zomboid. For a little bit. Now, I do like the game. I am enjoying the game when I can play it. It's just a matter of I'm not able to enjoy it the way that I need to in order to make decent quality videos on it. But part of that is just the different styling of the game. You know, it's... I, the, I don't like the top-down perspective of it. It's not the type of game that I normally play. The top-down style games. You know, I love the concept of Project Zomboid, but the execution of it is going to take a little bit of getting used to for me. Which means the learning curve for it is even steeper for me than it normally would be. Which makes it more frustrating 
trying to do, you know, trying to get used to that on camera. Where the hell have all my arrows gone? But so, I do want to do more Project Zomboid videos. But I, I want to get more familiar with the game off camera and then get into the game, you know, then get into making videos on it. Because right now I just don't feel like I can do the quality of videos that I want to do because I'm I'm not able to enjoy playing the game as much as I would like to. So I apologize for that for those of you that do want to see Project Zomboid. I know not all of you do. But for those of you that do, I apologize. Um, but it is going to get put on the back burner for a little while. Just until I can actually play it more for me. I don't feel like I can play it well for you guys. And I don't want to put out crappy quality videos. You know, I, I want to make the best quality videos that I can. Because one, when you're not enjoying making the videos, you're not going to make a good quality video. And that comes through. You know, people can tell when you're not enjoying what you're doing. And I want to enjoy what we do on this channel. Because it's more enjoyable for you guys. It's more enjoyable for me. It's more enjoyable for you. Everybody wins. You know. But in order to do that, sometimes it's going to mean that I have to do stuff off camera. To make it work properly on camera. If that makes sense. <gasps> Pop-Tarts! Yeah! Medical Pop-Tarts! Those Pop-Tarts cure anything. Those, those are magical medical Pop-Tarts. Oh, hey, waste bag. But I will do more Project Zomboid videos. I'm not trying to say that we're just not doing Project Zomboid anymore. We are still going to do Project Zomboid. But it's just going to be... There's going to be a little bit of a gap between now and the next Project Zomboid video. Now, like I said, I may still try to do one more Zomboid video right now and then put it on the back burner. Um, just to see how it goes. But there's a good chance that we're just going to be holding off on Project Zomboid for a little while. But we will get back into it for those of you that want to see it. And for those of you that don't want to see it, that's fine. You certainly don't have to watch it. But if there is other stuff that you guys would like to see... Let me know. Because at some point... We're probably going to run out of content for Scum. Now, realistically, with what they're planning to do... With adding NPCs and quests and whatnot... We're actually going to gain a lot of content here in the hopefully... Relatively near future. I'm really looking forward to that. We'll see how well they implement it, but um, anyway. If there's other games that you guys would like to see, let me know. Ooh, yes. I like the biker leather jacket. Um, we don't really need that anymore, do we? Because we have a bundle of rags now. Damn it, get in a thing. 
Thank you. Beautiful. Now, you go away. Okay. That works. But, like, would you guys actually watch videos on, like, say, Mist Survival? You know, it's another game that's it's similar to Scum. But it's not nearly as in-depth as Scum. But it is absolutely more zombie survival oriented. As opposed to just kind of open world survival with occasional zombies. But it already does have NPCs and to some degree quests. As far as I know. But uh, anyway, let me know on stuff like that. Or, like I say, if there's any other games that you'd like me to try out. I can't promise that I'll play all of them, but I will at least look into them. Or, if you just want to see Scum, that's fine too. We'll keep doing Scum for as long as we can. You know, because I love playing Scum. I just don't want it to get too repetitive. You know, and have you guys start, you know, tuning out because the videos are just boring because we've already done it all, you know. I, I want you guys to keep enjoying the videos. I want to keep putting out quality videos. And so, if there's other stuff you guys would like to see, let me know. Hey, we still need more screwdrivers. Now, I guess we could go ahead and just go search the police station. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but my dog is howling outside. She's probably barking at coyotes off in the distance. Because, again, for those of you that are new to the channel or just don't know, um, you know, just kind of the situation here at home, uh, we live way out in the country. Like, you, you can look in every direction and not see another house for close to a mile. <gasps> yes, there we go! Screwdriver! Now, we still need, like, one more, but we might be able to go hit the police station and potentially find another screwdriver within the police station. What are we doing here? Would, would more parsnips be good? Maybe. That's not a parsnip. We can't eat a kitchen knife. But take stuff out of the drawers. There we go, Parson. Now oh, you're slightly off. Damn it. But yeah, we live way out in the country. Hey, bullets. God, I haven't seen 9mm bullets for a long time. We, we haven't done a whole lot of looting because we've been at the, at the base for a long time now. But anyway, yeah. We live out here in the middle of nowhere, and so you're going to hear the dog barking from time to time. And I am I may talk about stuff that's going on out here. Um, at some point, I would maybe like to do some videos of just kind of the some of the stuff that happens out here, like if I have any, um, you know, construction projects or anything that might be kind of interesting, you know, if, if you guys would want to watch any of that. Or, again, I've mentioned before that I have uh, a couple of motorcycles, that if you guys would like to see any videos on those, you know, just either riding videos or... Uh, what the hell is going on with my wrist? Huh. 
My, my, my wrist appears to be detached from my arm slightly. That's concerning. Oh, that's that, that stupid fountain thing out back, isn't it? Okay, well, we're going to see if we can find any backpacks here. I doubt it. But I've also thought about doing... Maybe... Like, some videos on just different, like, survival equipment... Because I'm into that kind of thing. Ooh, are you... You're worse than my current backpack. That's unfortunate. But potentially do like some unboxing slash reviews of... Um, like some of the off-the-shelf survival kits. You know, I don't know if you guys would be interested in anything like that or not. If not, that's fine. But I'm just... Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I'm into. And so, if it's something that you guys might potentially watch, um, we can potentially do some videos on it. Because this doesn't have to be just a gaming channel. You know, we can, we can make this channel into whatever we want... Now, I know it's usually better to try and specialize your channel into whatever. And then maybe... Ooh, I don't need that, though. Yeah, we'll take it, though. Keeps us from having to use the bobby pins. Did I search these ones? Yes. Another leather backpack. But yeah, I know that usually it's best to, you know, specialize your channel and either like make a separate, ooh, make a separate channel for other stuff or whatever. How do you compare to this one? You're narrower, aren't you? Yeah, this one has five rows across. This this one only has four. Hmm. How how is this one though height wise? They're the same height wise. Okay, well we're keeping ours then. But anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm just rambling because otherwise it's just kind of boring watching me just looting. But, uh, ooh, we really don't need that, so we'll take it anyway. But yeah, if, if any other types of videos like that would be anything that you guys would watch, you know, let me know. Ooh, another advanced lockpick, yes please. Now, can I get more screwdrivers? And if not, that's fine too. You know. Um, like I say, I'm perfectly happy just continuing to make videos on Scum or on whatever other games we might want to play for the channel. But if there's other types of videos, like what I discussed, that uh, you guys would be interested in watching, can, can you... Put, put the bow away, please. I'm, I'm tired of looking at your dislocated wrist. I, I think let's just go hit the police station. And, uh... Yeah, maybe we can find another screwdriver. There, excuse me. Ooh, hey, our water's actually gone back down. God, I really wish this recording widget was not here. 
there's there's a lot of issues <laughs> with 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 some of what's going on with my recordings. Anyway, let's go hit the police station. Am I even going the right direction for the police station? I can't remember. I think so. Maybe. Possibly. ATM. I don't have my bank card anymore. Where was the police station? I know we passed it a minute ago. Where is it? Police station. There you are. Okay. E. Fence. My mortal enemy. What are you? Box of bolts. Did they change? Hmm. They changed the, uh, the visual for that, didn't they? Because didn't it used to just be a, like a big rectangle that said bolts on the side? And now it looks like a Chinese food takeout container? More or less. Sorry, that is a random thing to compare it to, but t to me that's kind of what it looked like. Okay, what do we got in here? Anybody? I see one of you there. Anybody in here? No, nobody in here. Okay. Now, you have armor, which means my little piddly bow and arrow here is not going to do too much to you. Uh, I switched my knives. And you walked away. How dare you? Why would you do that? Also, I have yet to see anything even resembling a functional vehicle. Whoop. Hi. Hello. Don't crouch. Now crouch. Get in the bushes. We should be fairly invisible in the bushes. I don't know how well bushes camouflage us from puppets, you know, compared to how they do sentries. You armored as well? You are, aren't you? Eh. Damn it, why do you shift your stance? You asshole. There you go, get him. Yeah. That's really dangerous letting them get that close, but. It's the best way to hit him with this pile of garbage, Bo. Damn it, I was really hoping you had a screwdriver. Screwdriver. There's not any screwdrivers in those. Screwdriver. Yes. No. Pepper seeds. I can't pick locks with pepper seeds. Unfortunately, anyway, that that uh, that could be interesting. I really don't see anything for vehicles. Huh, that, that's a that's a shame. Hey, hi there. I see you. Damn it! Damn it! There we go. Now, don't run away. Damn you, door. Whoa. Okay, well. Shit, am I out of arrows? I'm out of arrows. What the hell? Oh, it got dark. Shit. I'm out of arrows. 
I have three arrows. Hurrah! Is that everybody? Can I have my arrows back from all of your faces? Thank you. Might any of you have a screwdriver? You do not. How about you? Do you have a screwdriver? I could really use a screwdriver. You have a needle. That's not a screwdriver. I need screwdriver. You know, the thing you drive screws with. Even though that's absolutely not what you use it for in this game at all. Do you have a screwdriver? Of course not. Why would you have a screwdriver? Ooh, you've got some revolver ammo, though. That garbage quality ammo should be fine in a revolver. You're not worried about jams with a revolver. Wonderful. We'll take it. Now, I want to clear the rest of the building before we start trying to lockpick things. See, I still hear noises. I don't know if it's coming from upstairs. It's coming from outside. I'll take that. I say that. I shouldn't take it. Until we know whether or not we're going to actually find one. And I'm sorry if you guys are hearing any noises of me messing with the headphones. I'm going to try to edit all of that stuff out. But if I miss any of them, I apologize. It, it is just me messing with the headphones, either because I'm trying to scratch an itch or whatever. But I apologize if some of that still makes it into the video. <sighs> screwdriver, please. It's not a screwdriver. Rat. Screwdriver. That's definitely not a screwdriver. Screwdriver. That's not a screwdriver. That's also not a screwdriver. Ooh, that's... That's handy, though. Screwdriver. That's not a screwdriver. It is a nice shillelagh, though. I'm, I'm trying to go through everything we can before we pick the locks. Just hoping we can find another screwdriver. I know not likely to find them in these, but you never know. Ooh. Ooh, if we can find a rifle that that fits on, I will happily... Ooh, that one's in better shape. Not that it really matters what the compass is, but... Anywho, okay, I guess we're going to go with these two and then hit the, the armory down there. Oh, crap, I forgot I'm wearing gloves. <sighs> go in there, please. Thank you. Yay! Well, that's not overly useful. Oh, come on. What the hell? What the... <sighs> really? <sighs> what kind of garbage was that? <sighs> Can we waste a damn screwdriver use? Sorry, that, that also bugs me there. There was... <sighs> it, it, that's one of those situations where it, it seems like the... sweet spot, or the whatever you want to call it, the unlocking zone... 
moves. You know... Ooh, a cargo drop. That's horribly unfortunate. But you see, like... Really? Come on, Jesus. I have this set the same as I normally do. Why the hell am I having so much difficulty getting the locks picked? see, I'm not wearing gloves. And then sometimes it's super easy like that one. Sometimes it's like you can't find the right spot. I was really hoping for a shotgun. And then sometimes it works out easily like that. Damn it. But, like that kind of crap. Oh, well, there's no point in going to the cargo drop anyway, because we can't get into it. <sighs> well. This was frustrating. I mean, we'll take the 9mm... I guess. Damn it. <sighs> no, don't do that. Get over here, so you're taking up an, a decent spot. That's not going to be enough, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, well, this is not overly useful because we don't have a magazine for it, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Because the one that we have a magazine for, we don't have any ammunition for. But, okay, like, in that situation. Well, there we go. How many 38s do we have? Not a tremendous amount, but... Uh... But there, like, there's no reason that the screw... Oh, great, we only had six. There's no reason, in my mind, that the screwdriver should get used up for that. Because you didn't actually accomplish anything. You didn't use the screwdriver for anything. And again, the screwdriver, just in general, should not get used up for lock picking, in my opinion. What I wish they would do is just have the screwdriver... Even, even just get rid of the, the small screwdrivers and only have the yellow screwdrivers, but make them more abundant. You know... That's... That, that would make more sense. Because having a screwdriver that you can only use three times means it's got to be like a plastic screwdriver or something. I mean, like the, the screwdriver, the crappy screwdriver that comes on 
like a Swiss Army knife or, you know, a generic cheapo Walmart multi-tool would last considerably longer than that. But then you get stuff like this where it's now frustrating because you can't pick the locks even though you have a crap ton of lock picks. But you don't have a screwdriver because a screwdriver is the only thing that you can use to turn the lock. You know, just mechanics like that bug me. That's why before I had it set to where we just didn't have to lock pick. You know, the containers were unlocked. I've already checked that one apparently. Because the lock picking mechanic to some degree Damn it. And my controller died. I hope I don't get attacked right now. Okay, huzzah. But just stuff like that, it it bugs me when you have mechanics like that where cuz don't get me wrong I love the lock picking mechanic but I really feel like the screwdrivers should last longer than they do but anyway doesn't matter um we've been going for an hour and a half now so I think we're going to end the video here um but let me know what you guys would like to see for future videos. You know, let me know, one, what you think of, like, the narrative idea for the Scum series. Um, let me know if there's any other games you would like to see. Just let, let me know, just in general, what you guys would like to see out of the channel. You know, let me know if you guys would be interested in other videos besides just gaming videos. You know, like I said, if not, that's fine. We don't have to... Ooh. How many? Looks like a decent number. Okay, we're going to get rid of the M9, I guess. We have a lot of it. We have a lot of 9mm, but we don't have a magazine. You know what, I can clear out some stuff in here. I'm going to go off camera and get the Glock, I think. And, uh, anyway. Just let, let me know what you guys would like to see for future videos. If you have a preference, if not, that's fine. Um, but otherwise, I won't hold you up with too much rambling, considering I've just been doing nothing but rambling this entire episode. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.